woke up again, then that was a different story. Then here you go. Here's here's the way you work it. Okay. You got to have stars. Mm. News is not important. You got to have stars. You got to have mm. those Celebrity. heads there. So what are you going to do while uh, the Snow White fell and the Seven Dwarfs are on the airplane making it into <laughs> into uh, <laughs> Tokyo? <laughs> You go ahead. That's good. Go you got to get close, right? Yeah. So, gee, let's report from Hong Kong. Yeah. So they they switched their their control to Hong Kong. This is going to change. Okay. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Ho hold on, Larry. No. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> in this first part <laughs> of the show, um, what we we're doing is we're ex showing to you based on real life experience on Larry Buhard. He was there with his own eyes, with his own body. He saw the discipline that worked against the, devas the unfolding devastation, and he was enduring the inconvenience and the fright or the scare that it was bringing to all the people. Nevertheless, life went on. Now, the issue we're going to go into, we're going to take a short break, but when we get back, we're going to talk about exactly what actually happened continue to happen and is happening today and based on what was made supposedly to happen. Now this is the part that gets very interesting. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Hey, went pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. Is that okay to say that? Yeah. Hello, my name is Harrison Watko. Be careful, you are what you watch. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the news and exactly how news is delivered all around the world. With us, we have Larry Bruhard, one of the hosts right here on GNN. He has a show on social responsibility, if I'm not mistaken, every Saturday. No, no, it's a Wednesday night. Wednesday, Wednesday night, Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Uh, oh, that's 10, right. Please tune in. Yes, yeah, so there you go. <laughs> so, Larry, let's continue. Uh, okay, we are now at... The next morning you wake up, okay, and now r reporting is coming from all over the world, and you've got CNN, Fox, mm -hmm. and these are the biggies, right? Of course, you've got BBC, you've right. got Bloomberg even, and let me see, Al Jazeera. Okay. So everyone's reporting, and tell me what exactly you, because at this point, there was now a third devastation, a third destruction. The nuclear plant was the hit, and all of a sudden... NHK, because I did watch it, mm -hmm. and he was reporting the Minister for Energy, mm -hmm. and he was saying, hey, keep calm, uh, you know, mm -hmm. we're containing it, and seeing the Japanese being consistent. The uh, Japanese discipline with the buildings worked, mm -hmm. not too many died, many fleed uh, because of uh, response, disaster right. response, they were disciplined enough to get into their cars and drive out of there as fast as possible. Shops even stayed open in Yokohama, based right, on what right. you've seen. They closed even at the right time. It probably right. opened the next day, and there was no looting. Absolutely not. Yes. Okay. What did we see instead on CNN? Well, All of a sudden, uh, well, there know, was danger let, everywhere. Let me, let me yeah, first, okay. you know, let me say that that uh, I I don't think that CNN did it because they're evil. I think it's just mainly incompetence. You know. Yeah. Um, and and again, I, I I alluded to the the Snow White fell and the Seven Dwarfs. Yes. Um, <laughs> and, and the fact until he got there, they, <laughs> they reported from Hong Kong and Osaka. Well, Osaka is about 500 miles south. Hong Kong is a lifetime away. Yeah. And, and it's, like, uh, it's like here, if you, had a, if you had a fire in Holo, we'll call the fire department in passing, you know, <laughs> to, to yeah. take care you're of You're talking Daiichi? Yeah. Oh, oh, Daiichi. Oh, and, and here's, here's Snow White, see? Uh, pun He's, intended. <laughs> So, okay. yeah, Snow White's there. Somebody tells him, you know, the, the week or so before, they said, hey, go to Egypt, you know. They're, they're having something happen. He says, Egypt, is that anywhere near Peoria? <laughs> Peoria. <laughs> I mean, and, and so he goes to Egypt, and, and for 10 days, his, his favorite mantra is, liar, liar, pants on fire, yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. So I don't know enough about Egypt to know whether it was liar, well, liar, yes. pants on fire. But Japan, I mean, you know the, exactly what's Japan, going on, yeah. Uh, everything was, well, he was told, he was told first it was Fukushima, yep. and then, uh, <laughs> and the Daiichi plant. Now, Daiichi. He, he reported, he got Fukushima right, probably because somebody told him that's going to get him in trouble if he kept yes. pronouncing it that way, 
but he he <laughs> never he he did get uh, Daiichi right maybe once out of every ten times, and considering the other reportage, about the same. You know. Okay. Uh, okay I mean, okay. the point is, is everybody has made this. Every uh, uh, nuclear energy is a real sexy subject. You know, it's mm. one we can. We can just manipulate and play yes, around yes. with it. It's happening here with the Bataan nuclear you, you power get, plant. You get all of your your experts. Yes, and, yes. And here I'm watching the the CNN coverage in the United States. You know, I'm streaming yes. from the United States, and I'm watching NHK on the regular TV here. Right. And everything is facts. Yeah. And this goes back to to a point that you and I have talked about. Yeah. In the past. And which I've often said that. Well, I have this problem with know, the news that, because that, it's no, not coherent. Exactly. I, I've said, look, it. I'm a person who makes a living writing, as opposed to a writer. Mm. Journalists are supposed to be people who make a living writing. We report facts. You don't interpret. We don't. We do not report truth. Yeah. Novelists write truth. <laughs> Songwriters write truth. Not. Uh, Fiction is truth. That's well a truth. Said. It's Very a truth well said. of the people. But well said. facts. If I respect mm. the the readers or the or the, the listeners mm. out there, I'm just gonna give them the facts and they're gonna decide. Yes. They don't need me to tell them what to have. And they have this one Objectivity. News, they have this one news service uh, that mm. will will be mentioned. It's Fox mm. News. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Here's here's the nuclear power plants. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, let's can, have uh, the camera zoom in. Uh, on okay. If we can bring this yeah, in here. Yeah, he'll he'll but the end. The this is the uh, Japan nuclear power plants that yes. uh, Fox News had there you on, go. and they had this one here called Shibuya Eggman. Yes. Now that's right in the center of Tokyo, it's in Shibuya. Right. Now, it wasn't a massage parlor, it, 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 but it wasn't a nuclear plant either. And that's it's what a, they it's said a it was. It's a nightclub. It's a nightclub. <laughs> it's a nightclub. <laughs> and they Shibuya. said it was a power plant. Yeah, yeah, you know. But, I mean, they never go out of the hotel to report anything anyway, you know. I mean... Um, so what are you saying? They're not checking the resources? Of course not. Of course not. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a celebrity's game, you know, uh, the, all of it is. I mean, mm. the same thing with Anderson Cooper and, and his mm. people. They're there to sensationalize, they're there to... Because to, it sells. To, use, uh, ...to say, how could this happen? That's irresponsible, that's this and that's yes, that. Yes, they, that they, were, they were being subjected. That are all of these things that are just not true. Well, it happens here all, every and, day, and, not and in And it comes here. out, you know... There are, I, I've been a member of the Foreign Correspondents Club of Japan for more than 30 years. There are at least 200 people over there that are better qualified for me what in did Japanese. They, say? they never That's talked to a person who understood Japanese in, in all of that. That's time. another problem. Yeah, I mean, you know, they. they um, who are they interviewing then? These well, foreign first of correspondents all, anybody that are coming speak, in. Anybody who could speak English, I suppose. <laughs> yes, know, because yes, they, yes. they were not. I, I mean, it didn't appear that they were they were trying very hard mm, to find and out the yeah, truth. And they're they're not interested in the truth. Mm. In the in the facts. But in the facts. They know. were first generating a threat, the threat of the nuclear fallout, very early in the game, in spite of NHK and the Japanese Minister of Energy saying that, hey, we have it under control. And, and in fact, it's still happening today, today as we speak. Absolutely, and, and basically they've got more control on it today than they had at any time. But again, people are, are, are deathly afraid of, of nuclear energy. And if you've got the press pushing and shoving and, and, and uh, sensationalizing these things, and a lot of it being lies, for example, if you take the water, the drinking water yes. thing in Tokyo, I, I have an article, I'm not going to read it here yes, for yes. you, but the whole idea was is that the government shouldn't even have put out that notice, mm -hmm. but it was the local government did it first, and they said, okay, we better do it. If you were to feed your baby that drinking water in right. the, the, the formula for a whole year, it would increase your baby's chances of getting uh, cancer by 0.02%. And yet the news today it well says course, you're going to die you know, tomorrow. Well, yes, of course, you know, and and they're talking about the about comparing it with uh, with Chernobyl, and there mostly, is very mostly, there is mostly in fact CNN and even Al Jazeera is already showing 
clip of what's happened to Chernobyl well, about 25, well, 20, yeah. 20, 26 years and later. Yes, but what has happened? But it's not the same, is it? 18 million kids drank milk straight from the place there at that time. It's not happening in Japan. Uh, the fact is that cesium is mostly what is escaping. Cesium has a half-life that is going to be gone before it ever is going to do any damage Which to anybody. Which is what I was and listening nobody, this morning and nobody, to NHK. And nobody has ever, no one has ever got sick from cesium po poisoning. You know? So the news coming out is being exaggerated and played about by all the world news, except they're, they're picking up everything else except what the government is putting out. Right, they're, not, they're not listening to the government at all because, oh, liar, liar, pants on fire. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but <laughs> unlike any other you people, know? If you were in any other country, maybe that may be correct, but not necessarily in Japan. Well, I think in, in, in a lot of places, it, it's a situation of, for example, the news, uh, one of my friends at the tennis club yes, this morning yes. says, oh, there's panic in Tokyo. Everybody is leaving the country, et cetera. I said, you need to go to Tokyo and <laughs> take a walk through Larry, the streets. What, you know? Larry, what's uh, wrong with the news today? Why is it like that? Because here you saw it unfolding in front of you and being part of TV mm -hmm. and you write as well, mm -hmm. you can see that, you know, what is true and what isn't true and what's happening and what isn't happening. And here comes the news and they play everything up, they sensationalize everything and everything all around the world, everybody around the world thinks, like, like your friend in the tennis court mm -hmm. who's saying people are, are, are leaving. Right. Uh, what is wrong with the news re reportage it's around the world It's today? what's always been wrong with it. Tell us about this. Here's something. Uh, this, the this dark is, side. This, uh, the dark side is written uh, infamous Japanese crimes and criminals uh, by my friend Mark Schreiber. Uh, mm. I think that this book should have been, for anybody who wants to study Japanese history, this should be a required reading. Right. It's out of print, unfortunately. It was yes, written yes. in uh, 2003, I think. But he has a section here on the, the 1923 earthquake. earthquake. Now, what one government official said Koreans were looting. So a newspaper picked it up, and thousands and thousands of Koreans were murdered because, because of, of that. Stupid because reporting. of that. You and I are friends today through the influence of Randolph Hearst back in 1898 when he started the war between Spain Explain this. and the United States, the Spanish-American War. Yes. Was, was a media event. William Randolph Hearst wanted a war with Spain, and we got it. And we got that. And then when the next thing you know, you got Yanks on your shores here, right? Mm. Uh, the fact is, media has always played a big part in getting things done. The difference today, and it's it's no more. I don't think it's any less responsible than it's mm. ever been. We've, I mean, I like I said, I've been around journalists most of my adult life, and. We, we always say, well, you never let the facts get in the way of a good story. <laughs> and that, that's, that's cynical, yeah. but uh, it's If you sad. think CNN was reporting very poorly and actually reporting bogus reports, mm -hmm. citing bogus reports, and inciting the people to generate a stimulus to make them more viewed, what about Fox? You must be really pissed off at Fox. Fox? <laughs> I don't even consider them anymore, <laughs> you know? I mean... After all, they got the world's greatest lunatic, and, and <laughs> I, but I happen to listen to him from no, time to time. They but go prove, ahead. No, they prove that America is a great country. A lunatic and a person with special needs <laughs> can get real jobs. Uh, okay, okay. No, keep going. Keep going. No, we're, we're keep going. Trouble. No, the thing that I really wanted to put forth here for everybody is, this is my hometown. And it's hard, this is what I explained to you, yeah. that it's hard for me not to get emotional mm -mm. about it because there are 300,000 people who are cold and, and they don't have shelter and they're being helped. There are more than 100,000 uh, self-defense forces people there. Yeah, and they working. all went out to the streets and right away. And our American military is there <coughs> to the tune of 20,000. They've cleaned up the I the, see uh, the, in, in the, matter the, of days. the Sendai airport. They've done lots of things. Everybody in the local areas are Pakistanis are they're that are local up, yes. people. No, no. What well, they they're, they're, they're helping. They're, yeah, they're helping. Yeah, they they they're feeding. They they're cooking their food and feeding people. Mm. Everybody is helping out. It's not just the Japanese. It's the it's the feeling of community mm. that you have by living there.
but the press is her out no, and there, saying and, all and, sorts and of things like, hey, me, you've got all this nuclear uh, conta it, containment. We don't see it in the press at all, and that bothers me. The fact is, is that people are suffering almost, well, it's going to be 30,000. Well, it's already confirmed, pretty much yes. 27,000. 27,000. 27, missing, missing and fast Missing gone. And, and gone. Yeah. And it'll be about 30,000 people, and not for anybody's fault. There was nobody's fault, but There's all of those people are dead, and all these other people are are hurting, and we're reporting on something that probably won't have any effect at all because it's sexy, mm -hmm. and because it's good for the talking heads. No, and no, but it's, and it's, it's, it's 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 entertainment. It's not. It's but it's news. not going to help the economy. No. With all this poor reportage. No, no, but but the but the Japanese. Not poor, false. But uh, false, you know. But 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 the Japanese reportage is good. I would encourage uh, all of our viewers, go look at Media Matters. Uh, just Google Media Matters. Google uh, the journalist wall of shame. <laughs> journalist wall, wall of shame. Wall of shame, and you'll find just uh, uncountable instances of crappy, rotten reporting and by, the, by the international yes, yes. press. And one, one of the fellas that I just read, I'll give you my notes mm -hmm. here when, when we're finished. You know, after we talk, I just wrote to my friends, you know, the guys, mm -hmm. and, and they, yes. they averaged from 35 to 62 years living in Japan. And none of them fled. None of my employees, They're still my there. employees fled. Uh, nobody fled. No, the only people that fled were the people in the in the in the financial sector, but they've been fleeing everything. For yeah, it doesn't for matter. That. Yeah, we can, that's another show. Yeah, that's another show. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, there is stability even after the a, a, the wreck, uh, the havoc, the a, devastation. We, we had, of course, the trains that were were not running at, at as often. The biggest thing right now is the three-hour rolling blackout, blackout. Which, which has an effect on business, doesn't it? Uh, and this is... But given the Japanese, they'll well, be back up. They'll figure it out. What happens it is, out. but it, it does hurt. I yeah. mean, people make less money. So they this can work news that's coming out today, as 